How to create email marketing campaigns for beginners using Canva. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create amazing email marketing campaigns and formulate your campaigns using Canva. So let's jump right in. Now, what are campaigns and what's the difference between designing a singular email in Canva versus designing a campaign? Well, a campaign focuses on nurturing any type of lead that you have, nurturing your contact or your customers. Campaigns help you in providing one particular goal, as well as ensuring that a customer has a constant relationship with your brand. Now, in campaigns, you can create different types of campaigns, such as welcome campaigns, uh, new customer campaigns. So in this video, we're going to be focusing on building a new customer campaign where we're first going to design a welcome email, then a follow up discount email, then another nurturing email. So those are going to be the three emails in our particular customer's journey. To get started, we're going to be using Canva and we're going to be using templates. So head on over to canva.com and simply search for email over here. Once you search for email, you're going to see a bunch of different amazing templates. Now you can choose a pre-built template or you can get started from scratch as well. I have a detailed video on how to create amazing emails without a template using Canva. So make sure to check that out if you are looking to learn how to build high converting emails. But in this particular video, we're going to be using a template and we're going to be learning more about template customization. So first and foremost, you want to create or pick out a template that is accurate to your brand. So you don't want to create or use this type of template where you're actually selling accessories because this is not going to be modified in any way that could help sell your product. So I want to be creating a furniture stores marketing emails. So for that, I can actually use this one because it looks pretty decent or this one. Now I'm going to be using this one. I really like it. So I'm just going to click on customize this template and we're just going to zoom in a little. You guys can see this is more so structured like a website. If you want, you can use it as it is. Or if you want, you can customize it. I might want to go with a different view on this. So it only has one page. I think I'm going to go with this one because I really like the design. So I'm going to delete everything. And then at the center, I want to add my own logo. You can click on the left and then click on uploads to upload your own logo. I have been using this image as our example logo over here. So I'm just going to resize it and place it at the center. Now, once we've done that, we are going to go ahead and remove all the excess text that is not required. At the bottom, you're going to add your own contact info. So one, two, three, four, Toronto, ABC, furniture at gmail.com then on the top it's time to start creating your email now this has a picture section i don't need a picture section so for that reason i'm going to delete this picture and i'm going to change up the text which is going to say welcome to and our brand name our brand name is west elm so i'll just go with west elm and the font for west elm is a bit too curly in my opinion so I am going to be changing it up. I'm going to go ahead and search for some other vintage type of font that's not too zazzled. This looks nice. So I'm just going to place these items together. And I am using the same structure because it looks really nice and it is pretty enticing, especially for new customers because those people see so many emails every day so they want something that is different we're gonna add it add it like so like this and then below that i'm just going to remove all these excess buttons but i will place this one at the bottom over here i'm going to add a shop now button at the bottom like so and then i want to add a furniture item so i'm gonna upload one of the product images over here and i'm just gonna include it like so now, I think the welcome to is looking a bit off, so I'm going to write it all in one line. Welcome to, 
and I'll just have a West Elm like this. Then I'm going to include these two product images over here and I'm just going to resize these a bit like so, ensuring that they're both the same size and then I can place them equidistantly. Once I have done that, it's time for us to get started with designing our next section, which is going to be our shop now button. So we're going to add shop now over here, change the text color for this like this. I'm going to resize this and then place it over here. Once I've done that, I can add the bottom section. So for this, you can add things like more images for your products. Now, the way that you're going to create an entire campaign off of this is you're going to take the basic template, click on duplicate page, and instead of sending out the same email every time, the next email is going to be, let's say I want to add, here's a 10% discount on your next purchase like this and instead of just using the same images and the exact same format you can simply alter the images and then change the coloring by changing the coloring i'm going to take the gray block and place it at the bottom and use the simpler background on the top in this way it still looks cohesive to your brand but it creates a new email every time and then the next email could be another email about maybe another discount or a upcoming sale or some exclusive sale that is coming up. Now, once you have designed these, you can click on share on the top right, then click on download. Once you click on download, you can download these as a PNG and you're just going to download these. Then you can go into your email marketing tool and you can simply build an automation. When you're building automations, you can add different emails, add different customer journeys. So for that, you can see when a customer signs up to our particular business, we can send out the first email and we can go on ahead and click on edit content for this one. We have this one over here. We're going to click on edit email content and you can open up the zip file of your two emails. You can go into the email builder in MailChimp delete all the sections within this over here. Once you delete all of the excessive sections, you can simply drag and drop a content block, which is going to be an image block on top. Once you do that, you're going to click on add and upload the image of your own email that you created in Canva. And after you have built the first step like this, you can move on towards building the second step where after some time, after a particular time delay or customer interaction, the person is going to receive the second email. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.